Dorothy Jean Johnson Vaughan was an American mathematician and human computer who worked at the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics and NASA's Langley Research Center. In 1949, she was promoted to acting supervisor of the West Area Computers, making her the first African-American woman to lead a team at the center. Vaughan graduated from Bristol University in 1929. Although encouraged by professors to do graduate study at Howard University, Vaughn worked as a mathematics teacher at Robert Russo Moton High School in order to assist her family during the Great Depression. During the 14 years of her teaching career, Virginia's public schools and other facilities were still racially segregated under Jim Crow laws. In 1935, the NACA had established a section of women mathematicians who performed complex calculations. In 1941, President Franklin D. Roosevelt issued Executive Order 8802 to desegregate the defense industry and Executive Order 9346 to end racial segregation and discrimination in hiring and promotion among federal agencies and defense contractors. These helped ensure the war effort drew from all of American society after the United States entered World War II in 1941. With the enactment of the two executive orders and with many men being swept into service, federal agencies Agencies such as the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics also expanded their hiring and increased recruiting of women, including women of color, to support the war production of airplanes. Two years following the issuance of Executive Orders 8802 and 9346, the Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory, a facility of the NACA, began hiring more black women to meet the drastic increase in demand for processing aeronautical research data. The U.S. believed that the war was going to be won in the air. It had already ramped up airplane production, creating a great demand for engineers, mathematicians, craftsmen, and skilled tradesmen. In 1943, Vaughn began a 28-year career as a mathematician and programmer at Langley Research Center, in which she specialized in calculations for flight paths, the Scout Project, and computer programming. Her career in this field kicked off during the height of World War II. She came to the Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory thinking that it would be a temporary war job. Vaughn was assigned to the West Area Computing, a segregated unit, which consisted of only African Americans. This was due to prevailing Jim Crow laws that required newly hired African American women to work separately from their white women counterparts. They were also required to use separate dining and bathroom facilities this segregated group consisted of African-American women who made complex mathematical calculations by hand, using tools of the time. The West computers made contributions to every area of research at Langley. Their work expanded in the post-war years to support research and design for the United States Space Program, which was emphasized under President John F. Kennedy. In 1949, Vaughn was assigned as the acting head of the West Area Computers, taking over from a white woman who had died. She was the first black supervisor at NACA and one of few female supervisors. She led a group composed entirely of African-American women mathematicians. She served for years in an acting role before being promoted officially to the position as supervisor. She worked for opportunities for the women in West Computing as well as women in other departments. Seeing that machine computers were going to be the future, she taught the women programming languages and other concepts to prepare them for the transition. Mathematician Katherine Johnson was initially assigned to Vaughn's group, before being transferred to Langley's Flight Mechanics Division. Vaughn moved into the area of electronic computing in 1961 after NACA introduced the first digital computers to the center. Vaughn became proficient in computer programming, teaching herself Fortran and teaching it to her co-workers to prepare them for the transition. She contributed to the space program through her work on the Scout Launch Vehicle Program. A blog describing her work at NASA is on the Science Museum Group website. Vaughn continued after NASA, the successor agency, was established in 1958. When NACA became NASA, segregated facilities, including the West Computing Office, were abolished. In a 1994 interview, Vaughn recalled that working at Langley during the space race felt like being on the cutting edge of something very exciting. Regarding being an African-American woman during that time in Langley, she remarked, I changed what I could, and what I couldn't. I endured. Vaughn worked in the numerical techniques division through the 1960s. 
Dorothy Vaughn and many of the former West computers joined the New Analysis and Computation Division, a racially and gender-integrated group on the frontier of electronic computing. She worked at NASA Langley for 28 years. Vaughn wanted to continue at another management position at NASA, but never received an offer. She retired from NASA in 1971, at the age of 61. In her final decade of her career, she worked with mathematicians Catherine G. Johnson and Mary Jackson on astronaut John Glenn's launch into orbit. She died on November 10, 2008, aged 98. Vaughn was the first respected black female manager at NASA, thus creating a long-lasting legacy for diversity in mathematics and science for West Area computers. As one of the first female coders in the field who knew how to code Fortran, she was able to instruct other black women on the coding language and paved a wave of female programmers to integrate their work into NASA's systems. In 2005, a scholarship fund with the Salem Community Foundation was created under Dorothy Vaughn's name to further music training by the Salem Music Study Club. Vaughn is one of the women featured in Margot Lee Shetterly's 2016 nonfiction book Hidden Figures and the feature film of the same name. She was portrayed by the Academy Award-winning actress Octavia Spencer. The Dorothy J. Vaughn Academy of Technology opened in Charlotte, North Carolina, in August 2017. This school is inspired by Vaughn's leadership, innovation, creativity, curiosity, and love of learning. The school is a member of the Magnet Schools of America Association. In 2019, Vaughn was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal. Also in 2019, the Vaughn Crater on the far side of the moon was named in her honor. On November 6, 2020, a satellite named after her was launched into space.